Hey kids, it's Mr. Flaw here, hope you're well. And uh, welcome to a beautiful Gran Canaria. Look at this, absolutely stunning. Out on a winter's ride, would you believe I'm recording this very ride on the 16th of December. It's uh, 23 degrees centigrade out here at the moment. Absolutely beautiful day and uh, cannot wait to get a bit of uh, warm weather riding into me bones. What a great place to come in the depths of winter. Anyway, stick around and stay tuned. I'll uh, tell you what's new at Canary Motorcycle Tours. So would you believe it's been almost two years since I last rode here on Gran Canaria with uh, my favourite channel sponsors, Canary Motorcycle Tours. And uh, today we've come out uh, with Carol. Carol's on the bike ahead, she's riding pillion with Martin. And uh, we're just off for a little ride in the sunshine. And uh, something, well, I don't know, does it sound odd to you? Martin said we're going to go and find dolphins in the mountains. What on earth is that about? I don't know, anyway, he claims there are dolphins in the mountains here. So uh, that's the mission for the day. But regardless of whether he's telling massive porkies or not, I don't care because uh, back at home when I left uh, Luton Airport yesterday, there was snow on the ground and it was minus two. I landed here and uh, in the evening it was actually 22. Absolutely glorious. You cannot beat the Canary Islands for a bit of uh, winter sunshine, I tell you. And when you're used to riding motorcycles in winter at home and you're in your thermal underwear and trussed up with your heated gloves on and everything else, when you come out here and you've just got a light jacket on and your t-shirt, all is well with the world. So quite a lot has changed since I was last here. Number one, the Canary Motorcycle Tours crew have moved next door to a new unit. Take a look at this. So welcome to the throbbing heart of Vecindario, which is where Canary Motorcycle Tours are based. This is uh, where the unit is. We've got Ken here doing some work on an SV650. Hi Ken. Hey, there he is. And then in here, we've got Martin, who's in the nerve center. Oh, Andy. Oh, put that oh. away immediately. Right, can we have a bit of a tour of the yes, new unit? Come with me. This is great. So what have we got here? Beauty. Beauty and the beast? Beast. Oh, okay, right. So this is like, uh, like a relaxing area, look there's Mrs yeah. Flyer. It's like um, a jazz club I like to it think of. It certainly is, yeah. And we got helmets, jackets, gloves. Excellent. And Mrs Flyer and, and with a cup of tea. Yes. Brilliant. Righto, next. Okay, follow me. And then we have Ken. Ken, resident mechanic. Making sure everything was working beautifully. Tip top order. Excellent. Yes, he like does a Ken great himself. job. Yes, he does a great job. Um, and what's... now, massive area for the bikes compared to what yeah. you used to have. And what's different here is NCs, a few yep. of them. Yep. Uh, we've traded in and got a few V-Stroms as well. Nice. 650s or? 650s, yeah, yeah. yeah. do a Excellent. good job. And Versys. Real. And a load of spare tyres. Spare what's that all tyres, about? yeah, and the uh, tyre changing equipment. Which is your pride and joy, I understand. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. You can't have too much fun it's a lot changing better. tyres, can it's, you? It's a lot easier than using spoons. Okay, so welcome back into the mountains here in Gran Canaria. And another thing that's new actually since I last came is this very bike I'm on. It's a Honda NC750, which is uh, kind of Martin's bike of choice for riding around the twisty roads here in Gran Canaria. And this one I'm on is a brand new one, or pretty much brand new, I think. A few changes on it since I last rode it. In fact, I think Martin was saying the only thing that's uh, the same with this versus the old NC750 that they used to have is the, uh, is the exhaust. Other than that, I think everything else has pretty much changed. The perfect bike for riding around the mountains here. They've uh, made the centre of gravity very low on here, so it handles really nicely around these tight hairpins that they have in Gran Canaria. And it's also, I've mentioned it before on my previous reviews of the NC750, the fact that it's got this storage in the tank well, in quotes, tank under here. I've got all my camera kit, Carol's rucksack is all underneath here, stored away safely. It's brilliant. Just a super practical bike to ride. I know lots of people come out on biking holidays and they want to ride, you know, something big. And in fact, Martin's got a couple of new Africa twins that uh, he does rent out. But really, those are too much for these roads. What you really need is something light and easy to ride, and the NC is certainly that. Anyway, we're just leaving uh, the coastal area and heading up into the mountains in search of these dolphins. So. Uh, Looking forward to some nice views. They're already looking pretty good. Look at this. 
So you may be wondering, how come Mrs. Flyers on the back of Martin's bike instead of on the back of mine? Well, very good question. Something I ask myself every time they come. But uh, Carol's a massive fan of Martin's riding, as am I. And she says that he's a very smooth rider. So uh, actually, uh, letting you into a little bit of a secret, I prefer riding without a pillion as well. Who doesn't? So uh, even though Carol actually is a very good pillion, it's great coming out here because Martin's quite happy to take pillions along. And it means I can get to enjoy riding these fantastic roads solo once again. As often the case in Spanish islands, look, cyclists, or way cyclists, up this hill, that is hardcore. All credit to our two-wheeled, unpowered friends. Oh, I'd forgotten just quite how spectacular it is here on Gran Canaria. I'll tell you what, if you come here for your summer holidays and you just go to the touristy spots, down to the south of the island, Mas Palomas, places like that. It's all very well and all very nice for your summer holiday, but you are missing out on what Grand Canaria has to offer. Just look at this. I've said it before, but it reminds me of the Grand Canyon in the middle of the island. It is just spectacular. And these roads are so twisty, it's untrue. Okay, so the first coffee stop of the day, and I can already tell that Martin's pretty excited because it's not only Canary Motorcycle Tours that have got some new things. Check that out, Martin. Oh, that's big. It's cool, isn't it? <laughs> nice. So what did you make of that, Cal? Do you remember when you rode that road? I tried to forget that, but yeah, it's a beautiful road. Absolutely incredible riding, and I've forgotten how amazing it is here. Thank you for bringing us again, Martin. You're welcome. What, what have you ordered us? Um, it's a surprise. Oh. Right, the surprise has turned up. Martin, you've uh, ordered us something that looks well, quite we, healthy. Well, we thought it was uh, apple cake, then lemon cake, but we've just been told it's orange cake. Go on then, Carol, go for it, let's see. You can tell by her, vo by the, her face as to whether she likes it or not. This is the classic. Well, it's got a gooeyness on the top. Are you having some, Martin? Of course he is. Oh, that face is... It's apple. Mmm. That is good, actually. I'll tell you what is good here, the coffee. Absolutely mm. fantastic. Spain know how to do coffee, don't they? Yes. There you go, she agrees. Unbelievable views. I've been uh, fortunate enough to ride Gran Canaria a number of times now over the last six or seven years. And I'll tell you what, it never disappoints. There's so much here to keep you coming back. It's this amazing scenery. It's incredible weather in the middle of winter. It's the amazing food that you get in Spain. These incredible twisty roads. Bit of a wide load coming through. Giant Christmas decoration perhaps. Like I mentioned, I'm recording this on the 16th of December. <laughs> Christmas decks all doing their thing. I'll tell you what, I could put up with the 22 degrees centigrade at Christmas time. Oh look, they've got some tinsel on that tree there. They've really pushed the boat out, haven't they? Nice. Oh, this is a nice little town, isn't it? Cool church up there. More decks, look, a little nativity scene thing. Nice. Something odd that uh, I've noticed riding around here in Gran Canaria is that you don't get flies. So if this was the UK and you were riding on a day like this in the summer, your visor would be absolutely covered in dead flies, wouldn't it? Around here, nothing. You can ride along with your visor open, you don't get flies going in your face. Even of an evening, when you're sitting by the pool or whatever, no mosquitoes, nothing. I don't know why that is. If anyone's got any idea, let me know. Fascinated by that sort of thing. But it makes it very civilised. thing I have noticed about this NC750 since I've been riding it today is just how tractable the engine is on here. 
basically you can just stick it in third gear and basically let the bike lug away it's uh, even though you go on some quite slow tight hairpins on here it'll handle them without getting all bogged down so in the past I've uh, moaned with NC's that you have to change the gears a lot they're quite short geared but this uh, latest version seems a lot more flexible you can just, just say set it into third gear pretty much forget it and away she goes oh this is a tonic for the troops it really is just have a look at this uh, road snaking down here I'm hoping you might get a view on the camera as I come around the corner here <laughs> incredible the tarmac is amazing I don't know if you can see that no, I probably can't get a view of it but uh, the way the road just snakes along the side of that valley is amazing now this is a road more hardcore cyclists if you want to do that with my legs and lungs What a valley, absolutely beautiful. Quite different from the uh, earlier riding when it looked like the Grand Canyon and was arid. Now quite verdant. Love that word. Beautiful down there, must be the posh end of town. Looks like there might be some nice villas and swimming pools down there. Wowee, what a beautiful part of the island. Again, if you just go to the touristy bits, you miss out on all this. That village tucked just there. What a beautiful place. So this lovely town of white buildings nestled into this verdant valley is called Fataga, F-A-T-A-G-A. -A -A. Don't think I've ever been here before, it's absolutely stunning. This is the thing with uh, Gran Canaria, it doesn't matter how many times you ride here, you always find something new. It's not like you just come here for a day and you've done it, that is not the case. In fact, I remember talking to Martin about it before, and I think he said he's lived here for 15, 16 years now and he's still finding new places. <laughs> this is what you call a vertig vertiginous route. Check out the height down to my right here. I'm trying not to look too closely because I don't want to look that way and go that way. But that is a long way down. Thank goodness there's barriers there to give me a full sense of security. That is quite something. What an amazing road that was. And a bit of a viewpoint at the top. One thing the Spanish do well are viewpoints. Check this out. Look at this view. Absolutely incredible. Just like, well, I've said it umpteen times, but it is like the Grand Canyon, isn't it? Right, let's go and find uh, Martin and Carol. Hopefully they found out some intel about this area and give us something that sounds like they know what they're talking about. Okay, team, I've deduced it's called Mirador Astronomico. What can you tell us about it? Apparently, 46% of Gran Canaria's territory is designated a low-light pollution area, so it's actually really good for stargazing. Fantastic. And Martin, what can you tell us about it? Uh, well, it's self-explanatory here, Andy. If you look <laughs> like to look at this board here and see what you think. In other words, <laughs> he had nothing extra to say, did you? <laughs> um, well, I specifically said learn about it and look knowledgeable. If, if we were here at night and, you know, and we looked yeah. that way, at the moment, the North Star would be yeah. over. Would Polaris be, is up there. Would be well, there as in, in the north? Yes. Ah, yes. oh, excellent. Well, cool. So well, can we come back at night or something? I'll tell you what, it'd make a much better video if we actually did this at night, wouldn't it, to be fair? <laughs> <sighs> Amateurs I'm working with. 
So we're just towards the south of the island now and uh, over to my left is uh, towards Mas Palomas, which I think I mentioned before is one of the main tourist areas and where most people who come to Gran Canaria go and visit, or a lot of them. You can just see the sand dunes over there of Mas Palomas. The less said about those the better. So Martin now is taking us somewhere that we're very excited to go to. Apparently it's the house where they film Love Island, a show that uh, Carol and I are very much into and are somewhat experts in, so we cannot wait to see where that was filmed. Well this is another amazing valley with some incredible properties on the very top. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up but at the top of these hills there are some amazing villas up there. I've no idea where the uh, fabled Love Island one is, but it's around here somewhere. Just to my right here, it looks like there's a dam if my eyes don't deceive me. I don't know if we're going to climb above that to see any reservoirs above it, but uh, definitely a dam there, look. Just see down to my right now the uh, little reservoir where we saw that dam just now. See it just there? There's the dam, look, you could just see the reservoir. It looks like there's it. another dam after it, even. So we're gaining a bit of height again now. Very much another of those uh, precipitous, vertiginous, and every other just, you can possibly think of roads. <laughs> Not for the faint-hearted. If you don't like heights, maybe don't come here. <laughs> but it does make for some spectacular riding. Just look at this, both sides of us here. These amazing drop-offs. Unbelievable. Okay, just pulling over here. Could this be the Love Island house? Let's see. Is this it? Is this Love Island? No, Love Island's further around the corner. Oh, right, what's this then? Dolphins. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the bit we wait. I'll just park over here. Right, this is the bit we've been waiting for. Oh, I keep hitting the bloody horn instead of the indicators. This apparently is where the dolphins are. Okay, so Martin promised us dolphins in the mountains. This apparently is the spot. So, uh, here we go, let's check it out. So where are we looking then, Martin? Straight down here, and look. And uh, look, down look here. at that. Dolphins in the mountains. Look at that. Who would have believed it? <laughs> I can definitely see, is that a dolphin or a killer whale? Dolphin. I don't know. It's big though, isn't it? So what's the story, do you think? Well, this is Pilimitas Park. It's a tourist attraction, so they have, right. a, they have a, uh, a bird show there. Eagles oh, yeah. and and uh, oh in that little amphitheater yeah. thing oh yeah oh, and cool. then we have the dolphins there's some monkeys down there blimey yeah. feel right at home then <laughs> I was say, sorry I can, go. I can see a couple of monkeys i'm looking at them sorry, cheeky Martin. cheeky so we were promised dolphins and we got dolphins in the mountains <laughs> not something you see every day I, I must learn to believe martin whenever he tells me stuff now not that i didn't anyway obviously he's a very trustworthy man Right, and I'm told the next point of interest is indeed that Love Island house, which I have to be honest, I've not seen any Love Island. But uh, anyway, apparently it's quite popular with the young folk. So this apparently is where Love Island is filmed. There's a little security gate here, look, to stop people uh, doing whatever they want to do. And it's uh, up there somewhere. Fascinating. And there's some portal cabins for the production crew. And apparently it's not just the UK one that's done there, but also... Uh, the American version of the show as well is done there. And that's all part of the construction up there. There we go. One for all you Love Island fans. Rumour has it there might be something in Mallorca as well, but uh, certainly that's part of the gig. Well, there we are. That's well worth seeing. <laughs> Just another reason to come out here. So it's absolutely beautiful riding this time of year in the Canary Islands, of course. It's, as I mentioned, December when I'm recording. It's December the 16th, and it's about 24 degrees today. It's beautiful. But in the summer, 
it could be a little bit too hot to ride in the Canaries. So that's when the guys from uh, Canary Motorcycle Tours go to Slovenia. And this year it's all changed. So we're back in the unit here at Canary Motorcycle Tours to talk about Slovenia. Over to you, Martin. Okay, so last year went fab fabulously well. Everybody enjoyed it. We had a great crowd out all through the summer. Uh, but this year, yep. we're going a little bit up market. Yep. We're going to, to the Sheraton Hotel just outside Ljubljana, Fantastic. which is called the Four Points Hotel. The spa, indoor pool, very nice. Sounds right up my street. Okay, so there we have it, folks. That's... Uh, our day riding around Gran Canaria, once again, an absolutely cracking day's riding. Amazing scenery, beautiful food, great views, incredible weather. Just some of the reasons why we keep coming back to ride with Canary Motorcycle Tours. So thank you to those guys for sponsoring the channel for so long. They've been our longest sponsors. Thank you to you for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you've not done so already. Hit that like button, all that sort of good stuff. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been... The Missing and Flyer. Cheerio. We'll have to do it again though, because this is going up in 2023. So it'll be last year we did very well. This year we're going up market to the Sheraton. Because this will be going up in the 14th. Yep. Otherwise it was perfect. Okay. <sighs> Sorry about this, Ken. Bear with us.